What up everybody, it's your boy, this is my sneaker head in the house coming with a brand new video. Before we get started, please hit that thumbs up, comment, subscribe, share, truly appreciate all the support. We are at episode 12 of Last 7 Kicks. I'm gonna try to zoom through this because I really have to go, so my goal is to keep it under five minutes. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Sunday, your homeboy wore the Pharrell and Adidas Stan Smith collab. This was one of the first uh, kicks to drop by Pharrell, I believe about two years ago. Super dope. As I, if people already know, this was one of my summer kicks of 2016 to rock. But anyway, let's head on to Monday. Monday, I busted these bad boys out. We have the Air Jordan times Nike SB <laughs> Lance Mountains, the black pair. I wasn't able to scoop the white pair, but it's all good. I've actually worn these a lot. Yeah, this is what I wore on Monday. Tuesday, I busted out a pair of uh, Nike IDs that I actually loved. Uh, we have the Air Max One Detroit Lions. Did this a couple years ago. Absolutely love how it came out. On this, on the back here, it says Pride. On the other pair, it says Lions. I used the synthetic leather here. I used some synthetic suede here. I used like the jacket material on the toe and on the heel. Uh, it came out perfectly in that blue speckled midsole with the gray bottom. These are sick. Like I absolutely love how these bad boys turned out, but this is what I wore on Tuesday. Air Max One Nike ID Detroit Lions. Wednesday, decided to bust out a pair of Puma Trinomics. These bad boys, man, I absolutely love these. I picked these up from the green pack that came out a couple years back. And of course, these are the colors of Nigeria, which is where my family's from. So this was a super nice touch. Love that outsole, nothing too crazy. My favorite part's actually the collar area. It has like this checkered uh, collar, super, super comfortable. Thursday, your homeboy wore a pair of PEs, which was a GR PE not a super gr we have the air hyperposite amari starter watch did i just say starter wire we, <laughs> we have the air hyperposite amari stoudemire pe new york's next colorway fire flame fuego right here this is the only hyperposite pair that i have and i got this for under retail even though at the time I was selling for about 300 I was able to get this under retail from eBay. Super sick on feet. The color blocking on this shoe was perfect. Of course, the swooshes here are all 3M. Super dope. Now, the hyperposites, they are a very hard shoe to break in. The hyperposite material is very, very strong, but these are super dope. The hyperposite twos that came out after didn't do nearly as well as all the hyperposite ones. I would actually like to get a few more in my collection. Oh, there's a uh, My Stoudemire One logo right there. So you can check that out. But yeah, pretty clean, man. Friday, Foam Fridays. Beginning next week, I will do a Foam Friday on foot every week. So stay tuned for that. But this week, I wore another classic. The Air Foam Posit 1 Pewters or Silvers or whatever you want to call them. These joints are sick. Again, a classic, classic Foam Posit 1 that they haven't released in a while. Be believe these ones released either uh, 2010, like December 2010, or early 2011. But yep, again, another uh, pair that I was able to get for retail. Worn these numerous times, but love this shoe. What can you say again? Simple colors are the best with foams. So this is what your homeboy wore on Foam Friday, baby. The Foam Posit 1 Pewters. Lastly, on Saturday, I busted out another pair of Air Maxes. We have the Air Max 1. Um, this was a premium pack. Now, this entire upper glows in the dark, and the outsole also glows. So I'll try to leave a picture up here if I can get a good shot of it. The entire upper here has this tiger stripe um, glow in the dark effect here. But this is very simple. It wasn't a hyped release or nothing. I was able to get it for under retail and finish line. But yeah, very simple, very plain, but it was beautiful out. And again, you can't go wrong with all white shoes in the summertime. So this is what your man busted out on Saturday. And that is it for episode 12 of the last seven kicks. Stay tuned for episode 13 next week. And I got a couple videos dropping this week as well. And with that being said, folks, it's your boy, the smart sneakerhead, and the brother is out.
Peace.